In this video, we will see how to prepare a tabular analysis of transactions. The accounting equation, also called the balance sheet equation, represents the relationship between assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. The equation shows that the total assets of a business must equal the sum of total liabilities plus owner's equity. It is the foundation for the double entry bookkeeping system. Every internal and external transaction of a business will affect the business equation. Let's look at the categories in the basic accounting equation. Assets are the resources of a business. Assets have a normal debit balance, increase with a debit, and decrease with a credit. Liabilities are the legal debts or claims of a business against its assets. Liabilities have a normal credit balance, increase with a credit, and decrease with a debit. Owner's equity is the ownership claim on total assets of a business. It is equal to total assets minus total liabilities. It has a normal credit balance, increases with a credit, and decreases with a debit. In a business, owner's investments and revenues increase owner's equity. Both owner's capital and revenue have a normal credit balance. On the other hand, owner's drawings and expenses decrease owner's equity. Both owner's drawings and expenses have a normal debit balance. In tabular analysis of transaction, each transaction is analyzed in terms of its effect on the three components of the basic accounting equation and the specific items within each component. After recording each transaction, the two sides of the equation must always be equal. Let's look at a few transactions to see how to prepare a tabular analysis of transactions. Transactions made by Fred & Company, a law firm, for the month of March are given. We will show the effects of these transactions on the expanded accounting equation in a tabular form. In the first transaction, the company performs services on credit for $22,500. The transaction increases accounts receivable by $22,500, which in turn increases assets by the same amount. It also increases revenue by $22,500, which in turn increases the owner's equity. As there is an equal increase in both the sides, the accounting equation remains in balance. In the second transaction, the company received $17,000 in cash from customers who were billed earlier. This transaction increases cash and decreases accounts receivable by $17,000. As there is an increase and decrease of assets by the same extent, the accounting equation remains in balance. In the third transaction, the company received a bill for $1,905 toward advertising expenses, which will be paid at a later date. This transaction increases accounts payable, which in turn increases liabilities by $1,905. It also increases expenses, which in turn decreases owner's equity by $1,905. Remember that a negative amount under the expense column does not mean a decrease in expense. This means any increase in expenses will decrease the owner's equity. An increase in liability and a decrease in owner's equity by the same amount results in a balanced accounting equation. In the last transaction, Fred withdrew $2,750 of cash from the business. This transaction decreases cash, which in turn decreases assets, by $2,750. It also increases owner's drawings, which in turn decreases owner's equity by $2,750. Remember that a negative amount under the owner's drawings column does not mean a decrease in owner's drawings. This means any increase in drawings will decrease the owner's equity. A decrease in assets and owner's equity by the same amount keeps the accounting equation in balance. 